breakfast. We're into week four of the month and talking about things related to nutrition, the N of the lean system. And over the next five days, I'm going to break down into five categories, the different ways we could look at what we ingest. And that being breakfast, lunch, evening meal, tea, snacks, and drinks. And today I'm going to talk about breakfast. Because breakfast perhaps is the meal that we struggle with the most and are maybe most confused about and have heard the most conflicting advice about. People will tell us that we shouldn't skip breakfast, that it's the most important meal of the day, that a good breakfast turns us into a fat burning machine, it boosts our metabolism, that we should eat breakfast like a king, lunch like a prince and tea like a pauper. Uh, and most of those things are nonsense. Ultimately, breakfast is just the breaking of the fast. It's the first thing we eat in the day. The time of day we eat doesn't do anything magical to the overall impact of our eating decisions if all else is equal. We could eat in 10 meals across the course of the day, we could eat in one meal in the evening, we could eat between a certain window of time in the day, and if all else was equal, it would make zero difference to our weight particularly, and really to any other aspect of anything we might consider related to food and health. As always, the caveat, with something like that is the all else being equal bit. So the decisions we make around breakfast and other ingestions of food and drink should be taking into account what that then impacts our overall average. So if we're someone who's never had what you might conventionally think of as a breakfast, we don't feel like eating first thing in the morning and we then force ourselves to eat at that time, then there needs to be compensatory adjustments elsewhere. There is research that shows that if you take people like that who've never really eaten breakfast, you force them to eat a set amount of breakfast, then self-regulate their intake for the rest of the day. On average, they reduce their intake for the rest of the day, but by less than the increase they had at breakfast. So they end up consuming more calories, which all else being equal, activity levels being the same, would mean they would either gain weight or at least massively reduce a deficit. There's nothing magical about eating at that time. It doesn't... I don't even know what turning us into a fat burning machine does. I don't know what boosting our metabolism means. We magically start using more energy, all else being equal, because we've consumed more energy earlier in the day. It doesn't make any sense. So breakfast ultimately is whatever enables you to eat in a way that works towards your goals. If your goal is weight loss, breakfast is whatever enables you to have an average calorie deficit. If eating early means you feel good, you make better food choices and you're more active, like it does for me, brilliant. If it just means you consume more and you'll actually consume less by not having a what you normally think of as breakfast, that's fine too. Also, don't feel limited to what we in Western society consider to be breakfast. Most people think of breakfast as being some sort of grain-based meal, so a cereal, a porridge, a toast, or maybe a fry-up, or something along those lines. Breakfast can be absolutely anything. I eat what most people consider to be an evening meal for my breakfast, often because I've made more for my evening meal or left leftovers, or I just get up, pop some stuff in the oven while I sort a few other bits and bobs, and then come and eat it for my breakfast. Most people consider that weird. You could argue that weird is constantly doing something that doesn't enable you to achieve your goals and live your life in the way that you want to do. So in short, nothing magical about breakfast. Make the decision whether it's that you eat at all, what you eat, the timings that you eat, that allow you to create an average that takes you in the direction you want to go in and don't let anyone else tell you that that's not okay.